A lot of presidents were great. A lot of them were overrated. A lot of them were just straight up ass. A lot of them wouldn't shut up. A lot of them were just too sleepy. But none of them stands out more like Abraham Lincoln, the man who led America through a civil war, freed the slaves, and kept the nation together. Today, we are going to go inside why Abraham Lincoln lost his life at the age of 56. His death did not just shock the nation, it shocked the whole world. Why did John Wilkes Booth pull that trigger, ending one of the greatest presidents' life? Why did he do the unthinkable? Today, we will get into the shocking mystery on why John Wilkes Booth killed Abraham Lincoln. It's a young legend story. It's the legend story. Uh, it's a young legend story. Uh. At the end of the Civil War, some people were happy about how it ended. Some people were just pissed off. One of the main people that were pissed off about the results of the Civil War was John Wilkes Booth. 26-year-old former actor believed that Abraham Lincoln took away the South's way of life, <coughs> slavery. As a black man living in America, thank God he did because slavery was hard, brutal, and evil. John Wilkes Booth believed that Abraham Lincoln was the reason why everything bad in America was happening and was the cancer standing in front of the Confederacy's independence. So Booth made a plot in 1864 to kidnap Abraham Lincoln with his conspirators. John Surratt, George Azerat, Samuel Arnold, Michael Laughlin, and Louis Payne. So the kidnapping plot went on for a while, but never took effect because on April 9, 1865, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered to Union General Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse, ending four years of the bloodiest conflict in American history. This angered Booth, leaving his kidnapping plot in shambles. He wanted to punish the Union, but he did not know how. So, for years, Abraham Lincoln fought against slavery. He wanted African Americans to be freed, then he wanted slavery to not expand. I don't know, Lincoln was all over the fucking place. In my own opinion, Lincoln wanted slavery to end for quite a while. Yes, the Emancipation Proclamation was for war, but he wanted an excuse like that to do it and to attack the South where his heart was. Lincoln worked all the time for his father till he left when he was only 21 years old near my hometown of Decatur. L from the D? Nah, I'm just kidding. He was born in Kentucky. But he could relate to the slaves by his father beating him all the time, working him to death, and not wanting him to get an education. I mean, his father worked him like a dog, literally. Look at the man holding the axe. Look at him. Like, jeez, this guy's working. Anyway, Lincoln even pushed for the 13th Amendment, a.k.a. the abolishment of slavery, but Lincoln was not committed to full equality for blacks yet. Early in his presidency, he even said that he did not think that blacks and whites could live in harmony. He said that blacks should live in one of the American colonies or even be sent back to Africa where they can have their full rights. Like, really, Lincoln? But on April 11th, 1865, Lincoln's mind would again change. In his last speech, he spoke and said he would support black suffrage for blacks. Black suffrage meaning for blacks to vote. Voting rights for blacks in 1865? Oh my gosh, they ain't teach that in history class. But sadly, John Wilkes Booth was listening to Lincoln's speech at the White House that night. Lincoln talking about voting rights for blacks angered Booth because John Wilkes Booth believed that slavery was God's blessing. Uh, excuse me? Booth's reaction to his speech was this. That means bleep citizenship. That is the last speech he'll ever make. Bruh. Then, three days later, on April 14th, 1865, John Wilkes Booth would shoot Abraham Lincoln. And then, the next morning, Lincoln would die. Booth would try to take down the whole entire U.S. government by trying to kill the vice president, which didn't happen. Thank God Azra was scared. 
He also tried to assassinate the general and soon-to-be president, Ulysses S. Grant, but Grant would travel to Philadelphia to see his family that night. The Secretary of the State, William Seward. Even though Payne stabbed the living shit out of Seward, thank God Secretary Seward survived and just had a scar on his cheek. But, like I said before, Lincoln would die the next morning from his gunshot wound to the head. But Booth wouldn't get so lucky, though. He would be shot two weeks later in a barn in Virginia, slowly dying from a bullet to the neck, severing his spinal cord. God, jeez, that's terrible. But there are conspiracies out there saying that John Wilkes Booth actually escaped, which a video of that theory will be made soon on this channel. Lincoln's death shocked everyone, even people who hated him. Lincoln died saving the Union, and because of that became one of the greatest presidents ever. Did you really see Joe Biden or Donald Trump leading this country to a civil war? Hell no, get the fuck out of here, no way. Sometimes I visit Lincoln's grave in Springfield, Illinois. It's a great historical site. You guys should look it up and check it out. Lincoln did a lot for this nation and is completely ignored, which a lot of things are history because of stupid, ugh, I won't get into that. Bar P. Abraham Lincoln. You guys know the deal. Follow me on Instagram at Jordan the Legend of Irons. Thank you guys for watching the video. Like and subscribe. You know the deal. What you think was the real reason Lincoln was assassinated? Put what you think in the comments and let's have a discussion. You guys have a really blessed day. Appreciate you guys. Love.